a lot of Amazon sellers are scared of bulk uploads. They're using softwares that can easily make rule changes. But here I want to show you a really, really quick way to change your placement stats or your dynamic bidding for all of your campaigns at once with a bulk upload. All right. Uh, just taking a step back, uh, next couple videos, you guys might see some different backgrounds. I'm on the move again, uh, move in in the next few months, just kind of bopping around. And actually, that's why my business is called Nomads, because a few years ago, actually a couple years ago, I was living full time out of Airbnbs for over a year being a digital nomad. All right, so I'm kind of back at that, but still going to be putting videos out as much as I can for you guys. Okay. So, um, this video, again, it's going to be on bulk operations and really, really easy ways to change your placement stats. So, first of all, I want to call your attention to this button right here. Visit the bulk sheets portal. I, I don't think a lot of people know this exists. And what this is is this gives you all of the exact language that you need for bulk uploads. So first off, I'd be interested if any smaller sellers actually mess with this API. I'm not going to dive into this, but this API, this is more of the coding aspect where if you want to connect you know, software, everything, and do some more advanced rule-based stuff, you have to go through Amazon's API to do that. So just if you if you guys are using it, very quickly, uh, there's like a one budget rules is, let me see, schedule based rules. So if you want to change your budget from November 21st, November 30th by 20% on a daily basis, this is the code that you can put in to do that. Okay. So you need obviously need coding experience here. This is much more advanced stuff, but I would love to hear in the comments if anyone messes with this. Uh, probably I would like to hire you if you can do this stuff because I, me and my team still do everything through bulk uploads. So definitely reach out to me if you're familiar with this and if, if you set this up for your accounts or even if you're another manager, if you set this up, I'd love to talk with you. Now, what we are all interested in is this tab here, bulk operations, and let's just, we're going to keep it simple, go to sponsored products. Entities, look at all this stuff, entity hierarchy. It kind of shows you auto versus manual if you're a very basic seller. But then the best way to think about this is, so we're jumping to campaign by placement. These fields right here are the fields you're going to see when you pull a bulk file. These are the column headers. So think of the fields as column headers, right? And it shows you, everything is in parentheses. It shows you that exact language that you need if you're updating this stuff, okay? So like placement type. I know I'm, I'm on the screen here, but it says, you know, in parentheses, top of search, parent, uh, page one, and parentheses, exact language you use. So one thing I want to call to attention here, this was from my last video, is product targeting. There's a whole tab for product targeting here. And a lot of people don't know how to add these as negatives. This is where you find that language. Targeting expression, if you want to target it or negative targeting expression if you want to add that as a negative. Even better, guys, I have just take a step back. This is one of the few places in Amazon where everything is done right. Usually if I have an error on my bulk, I can come here, take a little time, and actually figure out the issue. So let's say create manual targeting campaigns. It gives you a whole bulk file of what it should look like. Okay, with all of the entries, look at this. It even shows you how to add ASINs, targeting expression, negative targeting expression, if you wanna add them as negatives. Okay, everything is in here. Campaign by placement, top of search, page one, 100%. Shows you the exact language, okay? So, now I just wanna show you guys very, very quickly how easy this is. And if I open, a bulk file here, actually not this one, I wanna open up this bulk file, okay? So I wanna open up this bulk file. This this scares people, right? They see all of this data, and what happens is they don't wanna change this stuff because they think, oh, if I change it, everything's gonna get messed up. So let's keep this simple. Let's say you wanna change 
Um, and actually, you need to remember that on these, when you're pulling a bulk file, make sure you uncheck this box because we want to look at placement data. So make sure you uncheck this box. I like to keep this one checked because that makes things messy, but we want to uncheck this. Okay, so we're going to come back to our file here and this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to throw on some very quick filters here and I only want to look at the campaign and the campaign by placement. Okay, so now it's a little simpler and I'm going to pull one example for you. So also a very, very good tip. If you want to do this for all of your campaigns, but you're terrified that something's going to mess up, just pull one. Just try one campaign, change something in there, see if it works, and then do it for the whole catalog. So usually I still even do this, is I won't change them here. I will copy and paste these columns. So I'm just going to copy and paste all of this, I've, and I've already done it into sheet one. So I have my, my headers, I have my one campaign, and I have my campaign by placement. So everything is already in there that I need. Now, I scroll over here. Right now, on this campaign, I have dynamic bidding down only, and I have no placement stats, okay? So I say, well, I want to change this to up and down bidding, but I, I don't know what to put in here, okay? You come back here, you look at this, you see, boom, bidding strategy, dynamic bidding, up and down. That is the exact language I need to change this. This is going to be, it's also going to be an entities campaign by placement, right? It's going to be in here. You got to search for it. But it's in one of these, and it shows you that dynamic bidding up and down. So maybe I want to change that. So I come here, I paste this. Boom, I have dynamic bidding up and down. I can also do fixed bids. And then all I'm going to do here is say I want to make my product pages 20%. I want to make my top of search 100%. Done. That's it. Done. What I would do is, again, I'm going to do this for this one campaign. I'm going to see if these numbers actually trigger. One very small thing, sometimes if this is text, there's a very small chance you convert this to number with just a weird Excel thing. I don't think you need to, but there's weird things like that you might need to do. And then all I'm going to do is let's say I only want to change my campaign by placements, right? So now that I've done one and I know that it works, I am going to copy all of these, select visible cells. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, right? I'm going to paste all of these down here. And now what I can do is I can go through this and change. And you can see that some of these, you know, I, I have placement stats on these. I have 100%. I have a bunch of 100%, right? I have 10% on this one, 50% on this one. You can go through. If you have your campaigns easily organized, you can do all of them in one thing. With bulk uploads, it's so much safer to do one thing at a time, okay? So this is changing placement stats. This is changing dynamic bidding. If you want to change keyword bids and stuff, that's that's better to do that in kind of a different file and really keep things organized and separated, okay? So this is super simple. If you get errors, go to that bulk portal and see what the errors are and try to fix them. Also, if you get errors, comment below so maybe I can fix you because these are always tricky, but take them one step at a time and I hope this helps.